We'll start by creating some simple teeth. In your Tools palette, select the Cylinder Primitive. Open the Initialize palette. Pull up the Inner Radius slider until it looks like a tube. Click the Make Polymesh 3D button. Select the Move tool by pushing W on your keyboard. Draw out a line starting from the bottom of the cylinder. Select the top yellow circle and pull the top of the cylinder down. Hold down Control and Shift to start drawing out a selection box, then hold down Alt to create an inverse selection. Go to the Geometry menu, open the Modify Topology subpalette, and click on Delete Hidden. Select the Move tool by pressing W, draw out a line anywhere, hold down Control, and click on the middle circle as you drag down, it will duplicate the object. Draw out the Move tool, click in the middle circle, and move the teeth slightly backwards. To insert this set of teeth we've just made into our base mesh, open up your Subtool palette. Click on the Insert button. This will add the teeth to our list of objects. We're going to resize these teeth using the Scale tool. Select the Scale tool by pushing E on your keyboard. Draw out a line from the center of the teeth. Click on the last yellow circle on the line and pull it inward. Do this until the teeth are the correct size. Push R on your keyboard to activate the Rotation tool. Draw out a line and rotate the teeth slightly. Push W to activate the Move tool. Click in the center of the middle circle and move the teeth into place. Having the teeth as part of the model now will help us sculpt the lips in their proper place. We'll begin sculpting the lips. Select your base mesh in the Subtool menu. Pull the lips out slightly with the Move brush. If you hold down Alt while using the Move brush, it will pull the mesh out. Select the Dam Standard brush and start to define the upper edge of the lip. Do the same thing with the lower lip. Use the inflate brush to give the lips volume. I'll use the Move brush to move the lips around slightly. And then Dynamesh the model with Polish on. Use the Move brush to pull out the chin. I'll increase my brush size a little bit more and then use the inflate brush to give more volume to the lips. I'll then use the move brush to make a few subtle tweaks to the mesh.
I'll go over the lips again with the damn standard brush to put a nice crease in the top lip and also in the bottom lip. With the same brush, I'll define the top of the chin and use the smooth brush to soften the edge. Notice how the Dynamesh with polish on crisps up those edges. Use the damn standard brush to pull a line from the corner of the mouth. Then use the inflate brush to give a little volume to the corners. Use the inflate brush to give a little more volume to the cheeks as well. At this point, I'll look over the entire model to see how the different facial features interact with each other. I need to redefine some of the areas of the nose. I'll use the inflate brush to give a little bit more volume to the ball of the nose. And by holding down Alt, redefine the nostrils. Turning the model to the side, I'll use the move brush and pull the nose around just a little bit. At this point, I'll subdivide my model twice. I'll use the damn standard brush to refine the edges. I'll go over the nose, the ears, and the eyes I'll make sure the edges are nice and crisp. I'll look over the model and check for areas that need to be fixed. The nostrils are a little too round, so I'll use the move brush and pull it up slightly. Use inflate to add a little more volume to the chin. Some of the details on the ear need to be redefined. I'll use the damn standard brush to redefine the helix and the anti-helix. Just for fun, I'll add a little dip for a pierced hole. I'll use the damn standard brush to go over the lids again and use the move tool to make a few tweaks. I'll make a couple of adjustments to the size of the eyes and I'll also pull the nose a little bit wider. These are just a few subtle changes, but overall, they helped your model to come together. To finish things off, I'll use the damn standard brush to give a hint of jawline. I'll go ahead and add a couple of other details to the body. First will be the sternocleidomastoid. It's the muscle that turns your head. It starts at the ear and attaches around the collarbone. Hold down control and draw out a mask. Use the inflate brush to give this area a little bit of volume. 
you'll probably need to lower the subdivision level so that it's nice and smooth. Clear the mask and smooth out that area. We'll do the same thing to make a subtle clavicle. Hold Ctrl to mask the area, invert the mask, and use the inflate brush to give it some volume. Then clear the mask and smooth it all out. I'll look over the model again. If I see any rough spots, I'll just use smooth and clean those up and use the damn standard brush to pull that subtle crease down the side of the nose. One last detail we'll put into the head is a slight dip in the corner of the eye. We'll do that with the damn standard brush. This completes our head sculpt.